Hi, this is Guy Dumas. I'm down in uh, in Florida at a campground here, and I've got a new knife that I ordered from Michael Presnell, and it's take his take on a puko, and uh, very pretty knife, very nice, and but it's new to me, and it's made me realize that I have a lot of practice and a lot of uh, muscle memory tied up with my mora that I've been carrying for years and I haven't quite decided if I like this more than my old my old knife so I need a big project to work on and to do that I decided that I was going to uh, make a paddle the other day when my wife and I were out uh, paddling the kayaks we were talking about Greenland paddles and I came back and got online and and took a look at uh, at how Greenland paddles are shaped and I thought that might be a good project for a knife that would force me to spend a lot of time with the knife in my hand making a lot of different kind of cuts and uh, until I get used to the knife and then I can I can kind of judge it for myself uh, so I want to use it how I would use it uh, and also force myself to do something new uh, so that's what I want to do I'm in a I'm in an area that I don't know all that well and and going out and gathering materials sometimes around a lot of private land can be challenging. So what I did is I went to a uh, big box hardware store and just grabbed the best looking piece of wood I could find for the project. In this case it's a rough cut uh, piece of western red cedar 2 by 4 by 8 and I made the measurement for myself um, to uh, just to bodily proportion standards. So in order to make a Greenland style paddle as well as I understand it which is from a completely novice point of view um, the measurements are I want the uh, I want the grip portion of the paddle to be just a little wider than my body about as wide as my shoulders um, and I want when standing up with the butt of the paddle on the ground or one blade of the paddle on the ground I want to be able to reach up and fold my fingers just at the mid knuckle there over the top of the paddle so I just basically made that length measurement in the store and had the um, how to make the first cut for me so I'm starting with a I'm starting out with a just a board that I can work with. So there's my there's my board. I'll get started with that and we'll see how this goes and I should probably have a few new blisters in place and uh, and have a new feel for this knife very shortly. Evening. Had a couple of days of uh, doing stuff with the family. Got some time here to get back to it. Uh, my initial impressions are that uh, this knife works. And it's nice because I worked with it in my hands somewhere between an hour and a half and, and two hours. And uh, made a big pile of shavings and got uh, my project in the general shape that I'm headed for. I learned a little bit about how this uh, is going to come together. But one of the things that I was most impressed with was this 
stacked birch bark handle on this knife is just really forgiving on the hand. I fully expected with a knife that was new to me and I haven't been doing a whole lot uh, lately uh, that would have my hands toughened up. I fully expected to get a few blisters and my hands are in they're in great shape. So here's the uh, the stacked handle and it is just it's a it's a great handle. Enjoy it. It's uh, I grip it you know from uh, from all directions and it's uh it's working out really well so I'm gonna get back to it and do a little more work today. It's in the it's in the good enough let's uh, let's give it a try stage so it's one of the principles of bushcraft is knowing when to stop so what I have here is I've got pretty could use a little refinement a pretty decent uh, shape really good balance well, I say that trips off there a little bit. Let's see. There we go. I'm right about in the middle there. Um, hopefully I'll be able to try that out on the water tomorrow. So I made this entirely with this one little knife here. So, to give you an idea of how large that knife is, it's about three and a half inch blade, four inch handle. So it's about seven and a half inches altogether, and it has been a uh, good little knife to use. And I touched it up before I started working today. Probably worked about two hours with it, and I think uh, I think it's still pretty sharp it was still rolling off some nice some real nice curls as I uh, as I was I was working the wood with it and it might even still be well let's see if it'll pop a few hairs couple there we go so here's after <laughs> to working a lot um, of course it's a little duller down here at the body of it where I was working a lot more but still pretty pretty sharp up there on the belly even though that was area was getting used a little bit but uh, plenty happy with this knife it's a Michael Presnell Puko and uh, yep, it passed. I would say it passed the test. It will uh, definitely do what I need a knife to do. So thanks for watching. Um, just getting this channel started. So if you'd like to subscribe, expect uh, more stuff like this to come along. Thanks.